Mark 8, 11 to 13. 11 and the Pharisees came out and began to argue with him, demanding from him a sign from heaven to test him. 12 sighing deeply in his spirit, he said, Why does this generation demand a sign? Truly I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. 13 and leaving them, he again embarked and went away to the other side. On September 22, 1989, Hurricane Hugo made landfall at the coast of Charleston, South Carolina, as a Category 4 storm, and did damage all up South Carolina and North Carolina, even here to here I live. The electricity was out, the forest of trees knocked, and looked like a layer of a toothpick or matchstick laying on the ground. I was in high school at the time, but because of Hurricane Hugo, there was no school. When school started, I remember some bought a photo of what was supposed to be an image of Jesus in the clouds of the terrible hurricane, and many people believe it was an image of Jesus. The Pharisees asked Jesus for a sign that he was the promised Messiah, cause they couldn't accept the rumors of the miracles. Many saw Jesus perform miracles and heard his amazing preaching, still denied he was the Son of God. Himself. The signs Jesus was doing then, are the same signs he is doing today, he changes the hearts, and the lives of those who accept him as Lord of their lives. If people want to know what God or Jesus looks like or even a sign he exists, looks out how his spirit changes life from empty and meaningless to have a purpose. Once I heard a pastor deliver a sermon, using the scripture, John 3, 16, and that pastor said, be he believe in Jesus, God gave him a more meaningful life. John 3, 16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. The pastor preached that God saved him, while he was in prison, and the Spirit of God, lead him away from abuse cracks and cocaine. Many people are changed by the Spirit of God, former adult porn stars, and who turn to Christ are transformed. Little Richard, the famous pop star gave his life back to God and said if he had to live his life over again, he would have Little Richard the preacher for Jesus. You and I can look and maybe see a cloud form look like Jesus, or we can look around and see Jesus in the light of others and how lives in them. A cloud and look like Jesus, a piece of toast can look like the Son of God, but Jesus' Spirit lives in you and I, we are his temple. If we trust and obey him, the sign of the only begotten Son of God is everywhere. Dear brothers and sisters reflected the glory of Jesus and be a sign of him to others in your lives. God bless you all, Jesus loves you and so do I, Samuel J. H. Daniel 4, 3 How great are his signs and how mighty are his miracles. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion is from generation to generation.